The drugs war was devised to target African Americans and anti-war leftists, according to John Ehrlichman, who served as President Nixon's chief domestic advisor during the drug war's inception. In this month's issue of Harper's Magazine, journalist Dan Baum recounts how in a 1994 interview, Ehrlichman described what the drug war was really all about. Quote, the Nixon campaign in 1968 and the Nixon White House after that had two enemies, the anti-war left and black people. We knew we couldn't make it illegal to be either against the war or black. But by getting the public to associate the hippies with marijuana and blacks with heroin and then criminalizing both heavily, we could disrupt those communities. We could arrest their leaders, raid their homes, break up their meetings, and vilify them night after night on the evening news. Did we know we were lying about the drugs? Of course we did, he said. In other words, the well-documented racial disparity in drug arrests was the goal of the war on drugs, not an unintended consequence. However, since the story's release, Three of Ehrlichman's former colleagues have disavowed the claim, telling the Huffington Post that the comments reflect neither their memory of John nor the administration's approach to that problem. The aides added that Ehrlichman was known for using biting sarcasm to dismiss those with whom he disagreed, and it is possible the reporter misread his tone. John never uttered a word or sentiment that suggested he or the president were anti-black, they said. But while Ehrlichman may have never said anything to suggest he was racist, the same can't be said about former President Nixon, who was caught on tape referring to little Negro bastards on welfare, who lived like a bunch of dogs. Still, regardless of whether or not the former Nixon advisor was being sincere, the outcome is still the same. African Americans and other minorities are disproportionately targeted, arrested, jailed, and burdened with criminal records for drugs. Knowing the motives of dead men won't stop this injustice. It's past time to end the drug war once and for all.